lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening it depends on where you're watching from welcome to my youtube channel my name is jane if this is the first time you're seeing me thank you so much for stopping by my little subscriber mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to you thank you thank you thank you so i saw this video and i would want for you guys to hear it because maybe if you hear it from me you will think i'm i'm making it up this is a little young girl that is in a village so a woman in the city went home to go and pick somebody that would come and help her uh, be a nanny or help her with her children and she uh, the girl will be speaking broken english but i will um i will analyze it when she's done for those of you that that won't hear what she's saying but i will let you know exactly what she's saying but i need you guys to hear it i'm gonna show it to you here it's only like two minutes video i will hold i'll, I'll go through the pain thank you so much for understanding hmm. when you think you had it all hmm. uh -huh. why you say you won't go what is your name? Chidima. Chidi, what is it? Chidima. Chidima. Chidima, where is your phone? Emo Emo State. Yes. Who is that for Emo State? Hello? Hello? Okay. Don't forget. Don't forget. Chidima, what do you call me for? What? I call me for village. They call me to my mom. They say, they find me to make the same issue. Because she has said she knows they pay us. Mommy, I'm going to say, okay. She pick her name. I didn't give me mouth to say anything this one is a, a a 13 year old a 13 year old from the village and uh somebody that know them she she called the person the auntie went back to the village to go and pick somebody that will come and stay with her and her children and uh, she picked this one up when she was 10 years old because she said what happened to her has been happening for 30 years that she was with that woman she said every night since she got to that woman's house the woman would tell her would take off her and tell her to be eating the toto hey youtube don't suffer youtube don't hear their ears is blocked with nigeria problem hey what they the woman would tell her uh, to be eating her toto 
Our Toto is the VJJ. The woman will tell this little girl of 10 years old. Every night, he will go and wake her up to be eating uh, VJJ. Then when she finished, this is the worst. When she finished, she will go and carry touch lights and give the girl And give the girl. Hmm? She will carry the torchlight and give the girl. Say, so make the girl put inside her toto. When the girl put inside her vijayche, then she can put inside her own. So she won't use her torch. Torch, oh, I don't know. Where's my torch? Where's my torch? Touch, touch light. You will use touch light. You will give the girl, say, make the girl a 10 year old, put in her VJJ and then put in her own. So the girl said, You heard what she was saying. She was like, Your own children are sleeping, and every night you will come and uh, do this. And she said she couldn't do the, the touch light thing, and the woman will beat her, beat her up, and said, So, as big as you reach, you know, fit do all these things. So, she's been doing this for now, she's 13, she's been doing it for three years, three years since she was 10 years old. So, now very soon, the picture of this woman will come out. When this girl is out, the picture of that woman will come out. Then Nigerians can help her, help, help her, help her with uh, whatever she wants to use to put in her toto. No problem. Even if she want, um, if she want bamboo, they will help her. They will help her put it there for, for messing this little girl up, a 10 year old, for messing this little 10 year old up. So uh, when I saw this, I was shocked. I was shocked to my bone. And I know a lot of bad things happen. But for a woman to go to the village, pick up another person's child, go home to her own home. When her children are gone to sleep, she will carry another person's child and, and, and take off her clothes for the girl to be eating her. Take off her clothes. For the girl to be eating her and then it's not enough she will go and carry torch torch you guys know how strong torch is you guys know and she want to stick it inside the girl and make the girl put inside her own oh my god i am so scared i am this is beyond scary so when i saw this eh, when i saw this when i saw this video it scared the living hell out of me it scared the living death out of me for what is going on. It's so sad. So that's why I said, let me come and tell you guys. So please, my people. It's about time for you guys to stop giving your children. Even if you don't have, you cannot afford to get anything. Even if it's Gary that you are drinking, it's better to take your child and go give to somebody else, a complete stranger that just say, I am looking for somebody who carry your child and give to them. They take your children and treat them like slaves. Please be very, very careful the people that you are giving your children. And pay attention where they are going. Pay visits to all those places. If you have my child, me, I will surprise you. I will surprise you and show up there to see how my child is doing. I'm not just going to dump my child to you and just say, okay, go ahead. No, I will surprise you. Take a bus and just come say, oh, I just came to make I see how you guys are doing. Or then in the, in the process, I see how my child is doing. Because some of them have taken children and they end up deleting those children. A lot have happened. So thank God this girl is alive to talk about it. So this is so sad. It's beyond sad. But don't worry. N Nigerians will see who she is. Nigerians will figure who she is. And Nigeria will give her the medicine that she is looking for. That medicine that she is looking for. They will give it to her. And when she, if her picture finally comes out, I will let you guys know. So my lovely people, I saw, I said, let me come and tell you guys what is happening in our, in our beautiful country called Nigeria. There's nothing that you cannot see there. So my people, God bless you guys for watching. From me to you. Bye-bye.